going to demonstrate a wireless uh, iPad system for vibration analysis in uh, testing um, the, a 2.3 megawatt um, wind turbine. And uh, I have not used some of these features before, so to show you how easy it is, you are going to um, come along with me. So, we are going to do some data capture, and in order to do that, we want to set up what we're going to uh, capture. So what I do is I come in here to Vibration, ViBRMS. Now, I want to set up a piece of equipment. So if I go back to the main menu, I come in and it says, uh, you, first off, you notice that the unit has already hooked up to the wireless system. I have also included the infrared uh, sensor that will allow me to detect temperature where I'm testing. Although we're not going to really get close to the bearing like we should uh, for this demonstration, we're going to take the uh, readings off the housing. Um, so no comments, I do know, uh, just for for um, certain reasons, we're going to do it that way. We're then going to compare it directly to another um, testing instrument um, to see how accurate this is versus that one. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look and make sure that we have set everything up and we're going to build a machine uh, to do that. Now, to build the machine, we're going to go ahead and take a picture. Okay, so there's the picture of our machine. ahead and take that picture. Okay, so we're going to use this photo. There we go. Now there are some default machines in there as well, but such as uh, off the machine library, uh, we're going to call this a um, 2.3 megawatt A B B. Okay, so we're done there, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to get this down, get this down, come on. Oh, there we go, sorry. Hey, first time, right? So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at our readings. So. Here are my verticals. So I'm going to take a vertical here. Oh, vertical here. On the top. I'm going to take a axial here. I will then also take a horizontal here. Okay, and then on the front, I will take a vertical in the housing, an axial on the housing, and a horizontal here. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and save it. We have saved it. Now we go back, and when we go ahead and set up our machine, we are going to go ahead and select a machine says machine types, uh, saving spectrum, machine info, etc. So machine type, we're going to uh, use our custom one, this one. There it is. Sorry, just had to go back. So as you can see, here's where my different readings are. Now, once we're ready uh, here, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do vibration and acceleration when we do this, uh, just by selecting those. And then as I select each one, I tap it. It's going to give me an overall reading, and it will automatically save. Now, while I'm in here, check settings. Uh, I have my temperature probe on. Um, I am using regular um, readings. I could switch to metric if I wish. Attached spectra, yes, I'm going to attach the spectra to this. Uh, so here I can also include company logo, which I will uh, do after. Um, 
the thresholds allows me to automatically select the um, thresholds via ISO or ANSI or set up my own. We're not going to worry about that for this one. Spectrum allows me to watch the spectrum as I'm taking the data. And then the machine info allows me to put in the nameplate information, which I'm going to do um, after I turn the camera off uh, for each of uh, these um, uh, items so that I have that as part of my report. So with that, uh, we will continue when it's time to do the testing. Okay, now we have the uh, unit running, so we're going to start uh, taking the tests. I'm doing my horizontal reading here. So I'm going to tap this. It's going to tell me what the level is, which is relatively low in velocity. And in G's. That's 0.4 G's in this case. And also you notice the temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can move and I'm going, I can choose what I move to. So in this case, I'm going to move to the next one, is will be the axial reading. Now for the axial reading, I do the same thing. Take my G's, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And I take my velocity. I've got my amplitude. I've got my velocity, which is extremely low, it appears. Yep, 0.028 uh, IPS. Okay, now I get to move it again. taking my horizontal reading back here now. So I'll select that. Velocity. And it's uh, relatively low. There we go. So there we go. Now I'm going to take that axial reading. Again, I'll note for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm not necessarily in the spot that I'd prefer. Here's my velocity. Here's my acceleration. Velocity is very low in the axial. So all I have left is verticals. will take at a uh, separate time. In any case, this unit here, as you can see, the Bluetooth is on. Press it to turn it back off. That's the temperature probe right here that can be attached to it. I can also attach it to uh, a lot of other instruments to this uh, particular point. Now we'll take the vertical readings later, but I'm going to go ahead show you the next part. Okay, I have never run this before. This is the first time, hence a couple of things uh, going a little wonky, but to give you an idea how easy this is. So, I've got everything. I can take a look at machine spectrums for different spots. Or the 
real-time spectrum, I guess. I can also, I've got my machine uh, information in, and I can now do a quick report. Now the report has the information I need, the actual uh, IP inches per second reading, and to what standard, that everything's green, uh, and then uh, if it has approached any particular dangerous uh, point, from here, uh, and then here's all my spectra, which I can analyze uh, separately. Save it. Saved. And then I can email it. myself send now should be on its way if I come here and take a look at my email I'm going to show you my emails, but uh, this came to me in my email, and this is the final report. I can also, on the reports, add the company logo, etc., but uh, this is it. I did not get my vertical reading, so I'm going to do that after this video. So thank you very much, and uh, we will discuss uh, later um, how this compared to another instrument.